artists and crafts online video, Edward Zaid Tinga Tinga. Action! Hi, artists and crafts families. Today's artist is Edward Saeed Tinga Tinga. Edward Saeed Tinga Tinga was a Tanzanian painter best known as the founder of the painting style named after him. Tinga Tinga art began as a simple idea. It is made of recycled, low-cost materials such as bicycle paint and ceramic pieces. Tinga Tinga's painting became very popular with tourists and that allowed him to become a full-time artist. Eventually, he gathered a group of apprentices and followers to help him make his art. Later, they would organize themselves into what is known as the Tinga Tinga Art Cooperative Society. Most Tinga Tinga art features African icons such as wild animals or the savanna landscape. And that's what inspired our project today. For this project, we will need some markers, glue, scissors, Sunset colored paint. We'll be using red and yellow. I'm also using green because I want to put some land in there. Different paint brushes are print out and cardboard. And the reason we're using cardboard is because a lot of Tinga Tinga art is used with recyclable or easy to find material. So we are using cardboard as our canvas. Yeah, this is from a package we got. Yeah, and I specifically picked this one because I think the colors will show up better since it's white. And if you want, you could always use a regular piece of paper, and then if you want to make it a little bit sturdier, you could glue it to your uh, to your cardboard. I want to use this one. And this one, George is going to use his foam core, so it's perfect because it's sturdy and it's white, so the colors will show up great on it. This project is done in two steps: first the background, and then the animal. So let's start with our sunset. So right now we are making a sunset. So I'm starting with red and then I'm gonna add the yellow as I go up so it almost has an ombre look, almost like the sun is going down. If you wanna get fancy, you can use different colors and shades to add to your sunset. Great job, okay, let's put these back here so we can dry a little bit while we do the second layer. Perfect. Good. Step two is to create your animal. The best part about our printout is that you could turn it into many different animals. We will show you how to create a cheetah or leopard, a zebra, and a lion. To color our animal in, we have chosen to use markers, but you can really use any medium you'd like. Tinga Tinga art is known for its bright colors and patterns. If you're feeling up for it, you can create a pattern with lots of detail. And it, it may take a while. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of like whimsical. What's that mean? It means it's like fun. It's not exactly looking like a cheetah looks. It's like a little bit more fun. Mine almost looks like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> okay, recording, <I'm> yes. <laughs> so to make it a lion, you gotta give him a mane. That's the main difference, so I'm gonna Is give him a mane. Is that That's the main thing. <laughs> so it's really just like zigzag lines around its head. Mm -hmm. I think the rest of it's yellow. Ooh, good idea. Good. Thank you. And you can even make up creatures like I'm making up this creature. And it's really fun to just let your imagination flow. Georgia Cam, out. So once your kiddo is done coloring it, you're gonna cut it out. So even if they go outside of the line, for example, you just trim that part out. So it looks super professional. All right, we're back and we finished cutting out our hyena, our leopard, our zebra, our lion, and our made up animal. <laughs> that might be my favorite one. Yeah, so we're using a glue works. stick for this because I think it would just be a lot easier than the white glue. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay, let me do mine. All right. There you have it. Your very own Tinga Tinga art. If you enjoyed this project, you can continue to experiment. Try different background colors and make a bunch of different animals. Then you can 
can create a gallery of Tinga Tinga art in your home. And don't forget, we want to see your creations. So tag us on Instagram at Artisan Crafts or send me an email, jack at lovejack.com. Happy creating! Yay.